What we're interested in are what lifestyle factors might uh, predict how well someone ages with respect to their mental abilities. In this research, we were particularly focused on how activity participation might protect against age-related changes in the brain. Our main finding was that individuals who took more exercise showed less brain shrinkage and damage to the white matter about three years later. So what does that mean? Well, what we had was in our sample called the Lothian Birth Cohort 1936, we asked them at age 70 the kinds of activities they took part in, so their physical exercise and the sort of social intellectual activities that they did. About three years later, 700 of those participants came and underwent a magnetic resonance brain scan. And what that scan allows us to do is measure the volumes um, of, of the brain and measure how intact the white matter is. The white matter being the connections in the brain, so the brain's wiring. So linking up those two bits of data, what we found was that the people that took more physical exercise had higher grey matter volume, that's the, the thinking part of the brain. They had fewer white matter lesions, so less damage to the, the connections between those uh, thinking parts. And they also had less atrophy, that's less shrinkage over time. And remember the activity assessment was age 70 and the brain scan was three years later. What we found as well is that the social intellectual activities didn't seem to be related at all really to these structural parameters in the brain. So what it's suggesting to us is that the more important activities in terms of uh, brain health would be physical exercise. And that's quite an interesting and useful finding because people can take physical exercise just by going out and taking a walk. There shouldn't be, hopefully, barriers in terms of access to resources or amenities in your area. The funding uh, for the study from Age UK is allowing us to continue the, the research uh, with additional funding from the Medical Research Council as well because although we find an association between exercise and better brain health over three years, the direction of that relationship is still something that we need to know much more about. We need to know, is it exercise that absolutely predicts brain health? This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.